It is important to know why the Lord promised to send Elijah. Elijah was a great prophet with great power given him by God. He held the greatest power God gives to his children. He held the sealing power, the power to bind on earth and have it bound in heaven. God gave it to the apostle Peter, and the Lord kept his promise to send Elijah. Elijah came to the prophet Joseph Smith on April 3, 1836, just after the dedication of the Kirtland Temple, the first temple built after the restoration of the gospel. Joseph described the sacred moment. Another great and glorious vision burst upon us for Elijah the prophet, who was taken to heaven without tasting death, stood before us and said, Behold, the time has fully come which was spoken of by the mouth of Malachi, testifying that he, Elijah, should be sent before the great and dreadful day of the Lord come to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers, lest the whole earth be smitten with a curse. Remember that the names which will be so difficult to find are of real people to whom you owe your existence in this world and whom you will meet again in the spirit world. When you were baptized, your ancestors looked down on you with hope. Perhaps after centuries, they rejoiced to see one of their descendants make a covenant to find them and to offer them freedom. In your reunion, you will see in their eyes either gratitude or terrible disappointment. Their hearts are bound to you. Their hope is in your hands. <laughs>